What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be going over uh, new weapon crits because I heard somewhere that most legendary weapons would be getting a crit and uh, oh yeah I gotta click this these are the weapons I'm going to be going over mostly not these two specifically but these border ones uh, weapons with purple borders and weapons with these tealish greenish border because I don't know this kind of feels like a mythical weapon and these kind of feel like legendaries because I don't know what this rarity would be if it's not a legendary. Maybe epic. These are epic weapons, maybe. I don't know. That's relevant. Uh, first, we're going to be going over... Uh, let's go with the Krulian first. You know, something nice to drive you to, uh, you know, peak your attention and stuff. Alright? Uh, everyone knows what the Krulian looks like. And here's the crit I'm going to go for. Uh... I'll explain it so to oh yeah that's not gonna work out um give me one second we'll make the background like blue or something boom eh it works make it like darker blue how do I make this darker I'm not good at this yet perfect all right there we go so in the description of the Krulian knife it is said it carries an aura and it's extremely sharp and all that but I'm focusing more on the aura so for the crit when you activate it your eye will flash like a purple like the ferryman's eye color and it all your Krulian knife will have an purple electric aura around it then you'll flash forward maybe you'll get like you know you know when he does lightning soul you get that little line well Let's make it bigger. You'll get that little... That's blue. I'm a genius. Uh, you get that little line that he does. And then, boom. Multiple slashes. Kind of like uh, quick slashes, except it's more of like a teleport. You teleport forward, and if you hit someone, it'll do the quick slashes effect, but purple. And maybe a little more electric. That's my idea for the Krulian knife. It's pretty sick, honestly. I like it a lot. And then we're going to move on to the Kanor thing. Uh, this one, the one you always get in uh, the Crypt of the Unbroken that you don't want. Well, we're going to make it so you want it. So, as you can see, it lacks a cross guard. And I looked it up, and that's typically because the opponent's either heavily armed, I mean, the person using it, it's already heavily armored. So they don't have to worry about getting their hand slashed. And, or, no, not and, or it's because they're moving very fast and there's really no need for pairing so like course combat or whatever and as people get less and less armored uh, cross guards are kinda less used because it was mostly just one stab and you're dead so I went with the light armored one because why would you be heavily armored and using a dagger that's kinda stupid so you know something a little simple you just do a little run up and then you slash just a little running slash, you know, nothing too crazy, but it's a Kanor thing. I don't got any crazy ideas for it. Um, yeah, Kanor thing. Let's move on to one I actually really like, the Relic Axe. You know, you get it from Sand Golems, so obviously the idea is, boom. You slam it down with the big hammer part, and a line of rocks will appear in front of you and damage opponents. Kind of like that one rogue lineage move. I don't remember what it is because I don't play rogue. But it's that one lo rogue lineage move basically. And you know, just dodgeable, parryable, whatever. Whatever they want to make it. I'm just here for the ideas. So that one's pretty sick. And then here's probably my favorite one I came up with. The one for the night axe. So if you don't know, you get the night axe from Ministry Necromancers. So, I decided to take that into effect. You slam the little spike part into the ground, shadowy aura comes up, and you got little mudskipper hands. And they will grab your enemy and deal damage to him. Why? Because that's epic. I can't draw. I'm gonna make it blue. Wait, let me make it blue. Where's it at? Uh, right there. Make it blue so it's a little more obvious. 
I had them black because the Necromancer Mudskippers have like gloves on, but you know, the, the Mudskippers are usually blue, so that'd make more sense. But yeah, uh, the way you do would dodge this move is either by jumping or uh, maybe parrying. Parrying and jumping. Because if you dodge, I feel like the hands would just move to grab you. And how it functions is once you get grabbed, you obviously take a little bit of damage. But the main part is it's kind of like the frozen feet, uh, frozen feet uh, talent. Uh, that procs with, I think it's Ice Shurikens or something? I don't remember it, to be honest. I haven't used it. F I, hasn't, I haven't speaked in a while either, apparently. Uh, I haven't used Frost Draw in a while. But, you'll be held in place for a set number of time. Uh, I don't know how long, but, you know, just long enough for it to be actually viable and usable. Next one, kind of simple. The Serrated War Spear. You get it from Duke only, so obviously just a little Gale Enforced Thrust. You know, nothing too crazy, but you know, it's just a Duke War Spear. Uh, they should definitely do some more stuff with the War Spear, make it like its own class of weapon. That'd be pretty sick. You know how uh, just create it basically fists, but it has its own set of talents? You could do that with the War Spear, that'd be pretty cool. That's irrelevant, though, uh, for this video. Just, you know, a little gale and fused thrust. Kind of like a drill, maybe. Then you've got everyone's favorite weapon, the Grand Sudoruska. Uh, take something from Kratos. I don't know. I, I don't care about Grand Sudoruska all too much. I'm not putting much idea on that. Alright, here we got the Crucible Rapier. And it was said to be used to pierce the thick shell of the... Crustaceous Rex, or the Big Crab. So, uh, wow, that, that looks awful. It did not port over well from MS Paint, and it went up, whatever. Uh, you know how in, in like, uh, fencing, they somehow put the weapon up to their chest and thrust forward? Uh, basically just that. Nothing too crazy, but, uh, this isn't a crazy weapon or anything. It's actually quite a boring weapon because I don't know I don't know why it's boring but it was said to be used by the ignition deep divers basically I mean not the ignition deep divers the authority deep divers but uh, I guess they stopped that because they kept dying and everything so uh, I don't know do something cool with that uh, it's basically my idea for it my last one is the Nermit sickle and this one I actually have a pretty good idea for. So basically, you know how Crescent, Crescent Cleaver has the grab? It's basically like that. And you do it and then you get behind him. You use the little curved portion. And it's still in the wrong thing. I hate that. You could use a little curved portion right here to slit the neck of your enemy. And it will proc your assassination talents. Obviously not all of them. Uh, the one that makes you stay down longer, like Shared Demise, those would be kind of crazy. Is it Shared Demise, the one that assassinates everyone else around you? I don't know, but it could proc assassination talents, and that would give it a, a niche use, because right now, Nermit Sickle really is pretty awful. It, it's garbage. Most of the weapons here are actually pretty awful. So, you know, custom crits would be cool. That's... All I have for this video, you know, just a couple ideas for weapon crits. I would do more weapon crits, but that would mean getting every weapon in the game and seeing which border they have, because the wiki doesn't actually show which border it has, at least not on the ones I checked. Um, so yeah, uh, subscribe. We are on a road to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I'm pretty sure we can do it. That'd be pretty epic because then I'd have 1,000 subscribers. Uh, yeah. Also, like and comment and share this video with people if you want it. Uh, mostly just so we can get more cool weapon crits. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, see you in the next video. It'll probably be a progression. I don't know.